When rendering some arguments in logic, sometimes we need to be able to keep track of whether or not two statements are talking about the same things. Predicates give us the tools to do that. A predicate is a function from a set of objects. We're going to call omega, so this is just the domain. And it's a function whose output is true or false. All right, so what a predicate does is it takes a subject in the domain omega and it returns either true or false. So for example, if p of x is the predicate, x plus 2 equals 4. Notice that this isn't a statement because I'm not saying something that is true or false yet. We don't know what x is. But if I evaluate p on the subject 2, then I get the statement 2 plus 2 equals 4 because that's either true or false and of course it is true. Uh, it's also worth commenting that the domain of this predicate is the set of integers. Uh, it didn't have to be the set of integers. I could have made it the set of real numbers. Um, I could have made it the set of, I don't know, apples uh, in the world, in which case the predicate would have never been true. Another example is the predicate q of xy. Predicates can have two subjects where q of xy means x orbits y. And it's not as clear this time what I'm talking about. I'm going to talk about uh, celestial bodies. Things like the sun and the stars and the planets. Let's let E refer to the earth. And let's let S refer to the sun. Then the statement Q of ES is the statement the Earth orbits the Sun, which is true. However, the statement Q of SE, which is the Sun orbits the Earth, is false. So it matters sometimes what order our subjects are in. Predicates evaluated on a subject are statements and hence can be combined with connectives. So for example, I can take the statement P of 2 and Q of SE, which is going to be false. This is the statement 2 plus 2 equals 4 and the sun orbits the earth. I could also do something like p of if p of 3 is true then q of es is true if 3 plus 2 equals 4 then the earth orbits the sun that is true because remember a conditional statement with a false antecedent the antecedent is that thing right there is always true.